I always like to joke that uh, Canadians are good at two things. One is playing hockey, <laughs> and the other is doing genetics research. My name is Steve Scherer. I'm a senior scientist in genetics at the Hospital for Sick Children and professor of medicine at the University of Toronto. And I've worked for about 15 years studying the human genome. And my job has been to decode the information that's contained in the genome. When I was in grade 13, I read the, the Double Helix by James Watson. That really got me interested in the whole concept of DNA and heredity and science in general. My son Joseph is six years old. He knows I work at the Hospital for Sick Children in the University of Toronto and he understands that we study DNA. I also have a daughter, Juliana, who's four years old. They don't probably understand the significance of the work, but they understand that some children are sick and they need to have help, and, and research is one way to help them. I'm of the new generation of scientists. The, uh, the so-called ivory tower is, is gone. I think the scientists have to be part of the community to really understand the most important questions that it has to come from the grassroots, from the bottom up. My laboratory studies the genetics of autism spectrum disorders. The most powerful thing is to actually meet with the families whose DNA you're studying. And they know these, these diseases better than anyone. They'll help you focus your questions. Most people would not say this about me, but I'm actually very creative and creative in science and, and thinking outside of the box and setting the stage for new ideas. I think scientists have to be stubborn. You have to be persistent. You can't let things go. The reason I actually stayed in science so long and, and can get up and go to work and work, you know, uh, 16, 18 hour days, sometimes uh, seven days a week is really the competitive nature of science. It, it really drives me to go to work. And the fact that uh, I can use my brain instead of my brawn, which I don't have, to, to, uh, to come in first is, is really great. Everybody's very competitive when you're playing sports, and in business you're very competitive. But in my experiences, science is actually the most competitive field. You're only as good as your last scientific paper or discovery that you've published. So one has to compete to have fun to do the research that you want to do. You can do the same old experiment over and over again and generate lots of important data, but to leapfrog things forward, you actually have to come up with a novel way to interpret the data. In some cases, you really have a eureka moment and something comes together that you didn't expect at all. And this is really what discovery is. We actually experienced this in 2004 uh, in our laboratory. And one of my postdoctor fellows came in and, and said to me, you know, we got this background noise information here. And I don't know what it means. I'm just going to remove it and kind of normalize the data and move on to the next set of experiments. And when I saw the result, it made sense. And it made sense because I had 15 years of history on, on this end and on this end. And this was the data in between that I'd actually been looking for for 15 years. And I said, don't throw that data away. Go back and run some more control experiments. But after he left my office, it was like, uh, relief. It was, uh, this is really what we had been looking for for a long time. Because I had the prepared mind, the classic and sci scientific prepared mind, I, I could make sense of the data in a way that others probably couldn't. So it was really having access to the information and then the intuition and ability to kind of decode what it meant and, and connect the dots. So this is really what the discovery was. I've been called a workaholic. Perhaps in some cases maybe I could have let up a bit. But I've been very fortunate to pursue my ideas and take them from beginning to end. The perfect day for me now is to go into the office and be able to sit down and look at the latest data, the data that just came off the machines with my graduate students and postdoctoral fellows, and discuss that data with them, share with them my ideas, and hopefully um, make connections between the different data sets that are coming out. And perhaps most importantly, is to set the stage for the next round of experiments, to plant a seed of an idea that perhaps may lead to our next discovery.